Namaste to all of you. Welcome you all. Blessings. Vivan is the forefront. Leads everyone. Isn't it? Vivan? Aren't you leading the humanity? Huh? <laughs> He knows. You know, isn't it? Humanity. Humanity. Complete human beings of the world. ஒன்ஸ்டிக் 
See, it helps a lot. It does, Guruji. I'm able to do more during during my day to day activities. Um, I'm able to do that a little bit more, um, but it's hard. It's uh, it's difficult to get past because there's a, like I said to you before, uh, there is a steady stream of thoughts that constantly comes. Trying to drop it the moment it starts to come, um, but it's it's challenging at times. Yeah, you 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 also find the truth that they come involuntarily. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Totally so, agree, Guruji. Yes, yes. Our, our being is filled with involuntary will, will, will. That is what they call it as past vasanas, past registrations. If yeah. we light, if we if we light a dope uh, in our hall or in our puja room, it fills the air of the hall and the house. Same way. Our beings, these beings, all human beings, have been living in various forms, in various physical bodies. So they carry it like smell, fragrance of the past. Each thought that arises is nothing but the essence of our Esther moment. earlier moment in existence and we never get out of this cycle here this shows the way that's why initially you may find it a little hard because you have to because you don't know what is uh, sitting just be yes how to sit yes. just be how to how to be idly sitting because all along the humanity the society and the cultures they have taught that keep your intellect like a knife there is a sharp mm. intellect they have been promoting there is a sharp intellect it is just like because it dichotomizes it cuts a thing into two in all parts of in all ways of our existence good and bad high and low in colors speed in language in capacities and skills talents money wealth power even between countries so this is how it goes on now we will go to the uh, third technique hmm? okay third technique of the class we, you you didn't see the last weeks uh, one picture i had shown that we will with that also we'll get into it okay you all could see the video you carefully watch this video on the monitor on your uh, you face that video shows a person appearing from dark sky and there also comes experience feel thought the world three words they are not words they are the cosmic mind itself the cosmic mind works through our individual thoughts feelings and experiences the world doesn't have a feeler in it an experiencer in it a thinker in it the world or the cosmos only works through the sentient intelligent beings 
and that too we are on the level of sixth sense intellectual person a mind which thinks inwardly which processes lots and lots of thoughts feelings and experiences it judges it passes opinions conclusions and how to proceed how to carry forward that person how to how to take that person along for the next moment how to face a challenge or a threat or an insecurity or a fear or an expectation about deception what not everything they are not yourself that is what is depicted in this video the human being he comes out of some darkness out of so many fragmented parts they are all quantum particles even subtler than quantum particles invisible intangible that we will see in another video what i am try trying to drive the point is this is a mirage like waking state appearance of a human being constructed gathered collected and centered and hovers around the i thought single capital letter i i is also a thought it doesn't exist separately whatever the thought that moves in you it is centered in that it's a feel it's an experience it is you but in a given moment you don't feel a single thought alone you feel an experience or a feeling through thoughts clustered within it you are reacting to it thoughts make you react experience make you shrink lie low feel insecure so all these things happen in a given moment the, the these happenings take place because of your identification with your physical appearance where this physical body stands in the whole picture up to the five senses to animals they don't feel their existence even through body at all they express their feelings they live through their experiences or feelings there is no separate experience or at all but when you and me when we undergo an experience we try to brand it say i was cheated i was left alone i was frightened i was cornered so i got a huge profit no i lost so many adjectives of words so many adjectives of nouns all these brandings labelings they are all in a clustered manner hovers in our mind all the time i am just dissecting through all these things and showing you what is the real thing there is no real you at all in anyone at all this wisdom or this depth of realization or understanding cannot happen to an animal of five sense to nature this can happen to a conscious identified persons identified human beings with their thoughts with their feelings with their experiences and they and they can when listen to this they can cognize it immediately instantly isn't it you are able to know this no immediately so when you know certain thing has in front of you see if, if even when we study objective sciences when we go to college or school or wherever we are we we are given we are elicited with a lot of information we are explained and we understand the moment i understand something or you understand something or you know something the known things are actually happening in front of you 
they are being explained to you they are not you that's why spirituality completely takes place the spiritual aspect of existence takes place not in the manifested level at all not in the body not in the thoughts not in the feelings not in the experience then where does it happen it is always still and silent even the so called understanding of objective sciences take place through understanding through knowing through things getting explained these are all the only methods and this this is the instrument what is that instrument mind intellect beneath that there is a constant entity for which this mind and intellect have been working that we are never of that's what now i am setting it as the base information base point we should understand here it is given as in you can see this formless limitless unleaving unarising undisappearing unstuck non related unsupported separationless still silent blissful self of the deep sleep state these things these these adjectives of noun and verb all are adjectives right formless form is a noun okay formless limitless verb adjective so many adjectives are given here because it is essentially it doesn't have a form deep sleep state and in deep sleep deep sleep reveals we are deathless because we are not even born in deep sleep we don't feel an identity to get identified as being born that's why all the, this is the matrix but the whole cosmos works through our thoughts expresses through our thinking our feelings because we are the cosmos we don't know that we are the cosmos we think we live in the cosmos we live in the world because we contracted ourselves only to the limits of our bodily periphery bodily circumference nothing more than that with gender with name with physical boundary bodily physical part we don't feel the existence of our body during a during deep sleep what are we at that time during deep sleep we are not even born why is so much of fear here because thoughts are essentially not ourselves feelings are not ourselves mistakenly misidentified misidentifications got rooted in us through the body because when i ask you what do you think at this moment immediately you say one or the other thing that means you are confirming it to me i am i am a thinker my mechanism is thinking and at this moment i was thinking about my mother or father or friend you bring in other persons or other things or other times in your mind and you start expressing it thereby thinking never leaves us we don't even doubt it but when we are asleep undoubtedly nothing exists all these thinkers feelers and experiences none of them exist so that's why this fragmented parts assembled assembled by a central entity 
that entity always upon such eludes purnima said that she faces initially difficulty in watching staying silent or staying still yes krishna uh, yeah you should not try even the person who tries in you to stay still or to stay silent you have to go beneath her behind her not her or not him at all it is a processing central processing is locally also in a fragmented way it is living through the humanity this is actually the dawn of realization mm. the thinking faculty don't belong to us we are a true beings true living beings in the sense of the deep sleep state not of the waking state thinker intellectually oriented uh, decision makers judges opinion makers these don't yes, help at all these don't help at all fundamentally we are not them you will collapse you see the actually this collapsing in most the 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 form has disappeared in front of us in the monitor actually each uh, veiling thought each disappearing thought is a collapse when your thought has gone totally from you what will you say about you what will you call that being within you because no name has been formed there the more and more you take interest in this type of gaze within you that will help a lot because we need clarity clarity brings in brings rootedness rootnet rootedness beyond the mind beyond the intellect that is our essential self of the deep sleep state some of you read this anyone can read this whatever return under self inquiry technique 3 uh, when we close our eyes and look within our mind that which becomes capacity of seeing is the place of origin of the whole cosmos and it is in mind's creation yeah everything is mind's creation including you vaidehi monika monu purnima everyone myself the grass shoot the space space is also in mind mind and space are only two words they are only one manifestation mirage like this 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 could be seen through when we look within us that's what i had meant here when we close our eyes and look within what happens our mind that which becomes the capacity of seeing anyone and everyone when they close their eyes externally when the eyes are closed what happens is something else takes over as our seeing the capacity of seeing something else takes place and seeing is never lost but we don't call it as seeing because we we immediately brand it as darkness or blankness because we we are stuck in the manifestation of forms appearances names and forms either in our mind the name should constantly march on are the scenes or the sights or the uh, five kinds of uh, sensation should take place within us this is how our being is conditioned to in the waking state but 
at the earliest we should get out of this sticky thing names and forms if i sorts of sense perceptions the mind is caught in them we should we should be able to look through that one gaze whether it is dark or um, with some light we, whatever that sees is the only real seeing that seeing never leaves on that seeing on that capacity of seeing your brand and conditioned brands are marching on that is what we call it as reactionary way of conditioned way of living in family or in the society or amidst insecurities of life amidst the strifes of life amidst the sorrow of life everything is taken for granted when we circumvent a sorrow when we bypass a sorrow we feel as if we conquered something there is no question of conquering or losing the battle because there is no battle at all there is no one in you to fight that essential truth has not been given here shown here by the deceptive spiritual persons they haven't seen no one has seen because the truth is truth must be very simple it must be like deep sleep state in deep sleep state lock stock and barrel cosmos including individuals don't exist where is confusion in this here also purnima and uh, vaidegi are not confused among themselves purnima knows spiritual that she is purnima and vaidegi knows she is vaidegi only not purnima because here also the marriage is so fastened by the conditioning by your own i vaidegi claims that she is vaidegi hello this vaidegi is problems it is vaidegi is virtues how it happens because of the constant flow of experience feel thinking that is expressed from the cosmic mind the see the signal never stops we only slowly what what do we do we turn within and start look looking within and try, and it it starts giving gap also through that inner gaze self inquiry case what happens it is inquiring it is in, essentially inquiring in nature that gaze it doesn't speak it doesn't create thoughts to look at. you simply eyes closed and you employ whatever that is there as a seeing capacity so that is the place of origin of the whole cosmos and it is always the creation of the mind mind is not purnima's mind or maitreya's mind or vaidehi's mind it is only one mind one illusion it has multitudes of facets the facets are multiple the thought which vaidehi has got now must be it may happen to purnima sometime later or sometime ago it may be even the same thought the feeling may be in different dimension the experience altogether may be colored by the ego in a different way experience feeling thought are all colored constantly by the central fake entity called ego okay so the place in a place of origin of the whole cosmos is nothing but mind's creation we are not left out we also carry the same cosmic mind to us we only thing that major difference is we have started investigating this we have started turning within and start looking without even considering our name as our name and our physical form as our physical form while we sit and do the self self inquiry practice at other times also when inwardly when you turn within you 
you can 100% you can have this kind of probe the investigation or uh, the self inquiry in this way now for this way what is that the capacity of seeing never leaves it is always comes with different colors it appears with different colors it gives shades of various kinds in experiences and feelings by and by as you deeply start watching what happens is it it also fades away sticking around loses its grip it is by sorry. and by tell me i'm sorry i just wanted to clarify this one so it's related to the mind so even saying that my mind hmm. or your mind Hmm. is absolutely false there is no my mind or like you know hmm. like manya's mind so i can't even say your mind or my mind But there is no mind at all even the mind of a dog hmm. the mind of a butterfly even the mind of a one cell organism say amoeba so it's we, one we, mind we, and one we all are around. yeah all around in and through we are floating in it that is why i gave in that video i showed the fragments assemble themselves and become one entity while you undergo a thought even if you don't undergo a thought even if you are not thinking ferociously involvedly if you are not involved in thinking lost in thinking if you are let loose you are loose free alert aware thinking cannot happen that time the mind the cosmic mind or the individual mind it, they don't exist at all there is, there is no such thing called as mind at all when you don't learn immediately you will be in mind mind only makes you step out mind only makes you skid slip away because it is so it is so conditioned the whole organism it is getting born through the cell memory 40 trillion cells of our body carries memory memories distinctively of their own differently distinctly of their own they are all clustered here not through physical memory alone psychological memory also see psychological memory is the foundation there is no such thing called as a personal separate psychology at all for anyone for anyone see it is like the, you, you come early this system is shown to you so you you cannot get and you cannot become angry with anyone not even with you also because even anger is a past condition reaction because one mind only that's why we should always deploy the energies i will give i will show you another another one video in that all these five sheets that covers us how they are formed why are they how are we actually essentially in in our subtle body how do we exist how do how do we come into existence see these are all the i have given five sheets sheets in the sense it's like pillow covers our cell is our one individual cell the tiniest of the the tiniest even even smaller than atom molecule okay so these five sheets they cover even one single cell for each organ also for anything and everything there is always this five sheets come and employ they come they are is together the basic thing is the first causal body this is called as the causal body figuratively i have shown as the same boy running of different sizes it is even tinier than atom or molecule it can't be seen even through micron microscope cannot show it at the time of conception out of 500 spermatozoa sperms 
only one penetrates the mother's ovum and they both lose their identities they become a new thing one single cell is formed in a tiniest moment of time tiniest moment nano millionth or nano billionth of a second that means cosmic mind is working through us physically physically psychologically thought wise feeling wise and even ignorance wise what is ignorance unaware of all this clarity see unless i tell you all these things you will not get a paradigm shift in your understanding no you would have been thinking about you in a totally different fashion different set of rules are the teachings that were given by the regular spirituality but they are not true said so here comes the causal body the tiniest of the the, the center eh? ignorance it is nothing but ignorance it is only darkness pure darkness see on one side this causal body he enjoys the bliss supreme bliss because at the same time it is the self supreme self formless nameless okay that self and the next immediately while while one gets up he, the intellect has to wake up from that slumber for that the physical body should get the sensations from deep sleep the bodily sensations will make the intellect to wake up still not fully awaken because they are not supported by the mental body next comes in the room in the chamber comes the next level comes the mind mental body manomaya kosha this is intellectual body vijnanamaya kosha this is a science this is completely a science only the realized can show you be it the world or an individual the realized alone can help because it comes out of same wisdom same science not humbug prayers and yearning and begging and all these things okay so here comes the intellectual sheath next comes covered by it veiled by it is the mind manomaya body mind then comes the pranamaya see these are all subtle subtle in the sense these are all forming may on a major portion they constitute out of the self itself self itself the true self like the capacity of ref- uh, the, uh, the mirrors reflecting capacity in that these these three embed themselves as past registrations while taking the physical body it needs life support then it brings in the fourth person called pranic body life pranamaya kosha fourth person this is a little grosser than all these three though these are three same same three same kind of subtle bodies here also some grossification takes place between one and two this is grosser than first two is grosser than first three is grosser than first two one and two and fourth is grosser than all the three and fifth is the grossest gross physical body this is tying these three these three tie this physical body through this life fourth pranamaya kosha but here in spirituality all over the world what do they teach almost they try they ask one to do some pranayama yoga asana before this fifth chamber and fourth chamber alone at best they can take you they will teach some fixed methodical meditations those methodical meditations are already pre meditated meditations they will not solve anyone's purpose because no clarity is shed when when someone gives this whole cosmos is getting downloaded through your mind that's what i mean no what, what did i say see we are nothing but the portal of the cosmic mind through your thinking cosmos thinks 
through your feeling cosmos feels but mistakenly you are identifying every thinking with your body i am the thinker i am the feeler i am the experiencer this is good and this is not good all these brandings you make in you you crystallize your thinking mind more you crystallize your feeling mind more and you crystallize your ego also more ego is getting bloated day by day more acquisitions more knowledge and when where all this go all these immediately deploy in the outer world isn't it in relationships in money in fame in power in beauty in knowledge everything is acquired in proportions we fight for all this not knowing who really drives us from within who really lives us from within okay now we will go to the next uh, those five shes are divided in three bodies in our in our the path of wisdom in the path of atma gyana in the path of the supreme the realization of the supreme self they say everything comes under measurement when something is measured when something falls under a dimension then it is called as a body when it has dimension it is a body so right from here first the the causal body deep sleep state the causal body one physical face is given or a figure is drawn here here 2 3 4 1 on figure is drawn here a fully matured a human being is shown here this is only a dummy piece this fifth no only name say form be uh, let it have a female gender or a male gender no problem whether it has a money or it doesn't have money no issues because it's only a form our mobile phones they don't talk for themselves it's you who wants to talk see this this is a dummy piece the fifth category person is a dummy piece why why do you say because he's only name say inner content is essential inner content has to be known it has to be explained it has to be seen through by individuals not through my saying i can only guide you to get in and look within but you will have to look within it is you who got conceived of an ego you have to see whether it, it has really got into you whether it is you or you are something else that each one has to do it for himself or herself okay here you come here comes what i had given is invisible all this four no even only the breath it's not evidently known when you start observing it then you come to know about it isn't it yes i feel heavy i breathe heavily or i breathe very lightly all these things you categorize so all these things are invisible intangible imperceivable bodies what of these two bodies causal body and the subtle body subtle body consists of intellect that is intellect is nothing but dualities of feelings it always intellect stays with dualities of feelings one feeling doesn't stay alone it is like a coin which has two sides if you say good you all always also mean the opposite is bad there is something bad also but i am not that i am good i want the best i don't want the worst the worst part also is there so like this the intellect as the dualities of feelings then comes the mind a mind is nothing but the assistant of the intellect it supports with lot of data it is a data operating center mind goes out as well as lies within also revolves inside also intellect stays within exclusively it never goes out okay and breath it links the physical things from subtle to experience only you need a physical apparatus through physical eyes only you can see 
mind cannot see directly breath cannot see directly breath also takes place for our physical eyes in our face each cell breathes when death happens at an instant all the cells are dead they withdraw the life is withdrawn life is withdrawn only through the angle of the psychological body and psychological body always invisible intangible imperceivable that's why people go on taking rebirth and rebirth they call it as rebirth so your broad understanding should be that this is a cosmic mind which comes into play which always plays unless one stands within and looks within as to who this thinker is who this feeler is who this experiencer in me is if one doesn't do this one is caught in the will pool of the cosmic mind he also plays a tune that is played by the cosmic mind all the predetermined things continuously happen through him also to arrest it you should know first you should be you should get clarity as to who that central being during your waking state of life who that central being is in you it always is the ego to trace the ego necessarily beyond and transcending your physical body and the pranic body unmindful of your th- breathing patterns and other things all the four yogas and other things simply you will have to sit silent and still start looking whatever that originates within you the moment you close your external eyes the the, the, the capacity which sees anything and everything within is the place from where this cosmic mind cosmic machinery as a grand mind works through you only not directly from the cosmos so somewhere in the sky okay if you look at this everything is blocked okay everything is blocked this is what the first two sutra of patanjali maharishi has given about yoga yoga chitta vritti nirodaka vritti means start chitta means this all these three ego intellect mind okay chitta vritti means start this thinking is the main gateway through that we express ourselves we also believe ourselves lot of belief systems everything comes into play so everything has to be in toto has to be looked at okay so with that i will end this today you sit for another 2 minutes and then we will leave okay so with this this is the third technique what is the technique the way, the very place when your eyes are closed that place itself, itself is the seeing capacity the capacity of seeing of the mind the mind sees through you and lives through you when you when you look at it intently without any purpose you don't want you see you are not aspiring for anything at all because you don't you don't give a purpose to your mind why am i looking like this he is no no explanation okay that is another thought another thinking simply sitting just be do completely do for another 15 sitting then we will meet next friday is it okay okay thank you guruji thank you ma thank you thank you, thank you. I, yeah yeah